Okay, in the previous video, um, I looked at how to solve this particular problem where we're trying to find the cutoff for the A. Uh, notice that there's not an upper cutoff for the A. There was only a lower cutoff. So what do you do uh, on these other questions when you need the lower cutoff and the upper cutoff for a range? Uh, let's take a D for example. So in this, this class, um, we know the distribution of scores. We're assuming they're normally distributed. And we say that scores below the top 76 and above the bottom 6% get a D. But what, what are those actual values? Well, let's translate here to a visual. So bottom 6% is going to be this part right here. It's going to be 6% down there. And then this one's a little tricky, top 76%. So essentially we want a cutoff that'll give the 76% up here and the rest of them down here. So maybe just put it right here. And this is 76%. Um, so these scores in between are the Ds. Uh, but again, we have a lower value for those Ds and an upper boundary value for the Ds. And we need to find what those two boundary values are. Well, using the tables, we can get the Z scores associated there. Uh, and, and remember that the tables that we're given here are just a conversion in between the portion to the left, portion of the distribution to the left, and the z-scores themselves. So for this first one, for example, we have 6% to the left. Um, I don't have access uh, right now because I already solved this one, but it would be negative infinity to negative z. The negative z is because we're on the left side of the distribution. And actually both of these, both of these values are gonna be on the left side of the distribution. So both of those would be the negative infinity to negative z portion. So I'd look for 0 0.06 and I'd pull the closest uh, number. I'd get that z-score. That's the z-score I, I would put here. Um, then I would, I would plug that 0 0.06 in. I would also plug the mean in. The mean would be uh, given in the problem. That's the 65.1. Standard deviation would be the 9.2. So I'd have everything but the x. And I would solve that exactly the same way that I did um, in the previous problem. You can go on the, the frequently asked question page. Uh, now to get the 76%, notice the 76% is to the right of the cutoff value, and that's not what these tables give us. This values down here, whether you're on the negative z one or the positive z, it's always the portion to the left. So that's what we need to figure out first. What portion is to the left of this cutoff? Well, if 76% is to the right, everything else would be to the left. So 100% minus 76% would give us 24% to the left. And 0.24, 24% is the number we'd look up in the table, in the body of the table here. Again, it would be the negative infinity to negative z table. That would give us a z-score. We would plug that z-score in here. The mean and the standard deviation would be the same, 65.1 and 9.2. And those were the same in the previous problem I worked through also. Uh, it, it would be the same for this entire grading range. The only thing different there would be the Z, uh, but that would give us a different X. So we're, we're solving two different equations for two different X's because that, that first X would be the lower bound of a D and the next x would be the upper bound of a d, and anything in between there for this professor's class would be a d.